Mr. Jones, please. Good evening. Uh, Timothy Citizen Jones, 16 Dustin Avenue, uh, 927097. Uh, the material I'm going to speak on briefly tonight actually has more detail on, on a website known as HamptonBud.com. I encourage anyone, including what I'm about to say, will be there as well, or is there. I want to congratulate uh, Selectman, well, Waddle's not here, uh, Waddell is not here, so I guess in, in abstention I congratulate Selectman Waddell and Griffin and Bridal for their recent uh, success at the polls. I will work for compromise on differences that might arise during our respective terms of office within the bounds of the oath of office each of us has taken tonight. I'm also here tonight to assist you in finding savings within the default budget, as well as to right the conspicuous wrong done to the voters of this town. In short, this is an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone and save money as well. Last year I discovered the town planner's position was created via an act of arbitrary power exercised by former town officials. For three consecutive years, the voters were asked via a warrant article to create the position of town planner. The people voted no each time. Shortly thereafter, a permanent, full-time town planner was hired. This hiring was an act of arbitrary power that denied the right of the people to have their vote properly respected. I have worked quietly on this matter with the previous board to right this deliberate injustice. The sticking point was really a humane one, however. Should we fire a man from his job because the job itself was created illegally? Times do change things, just as this board has changed with the times. We no longer have anyone in the town planner's position, so no one needs to be fired but nobody should be hired either. I respectfully ask this board <coughs> to free up the town planner's salary by preventing the filling of this position until a vote of the people approves of it. To date, the people have said no three times. By not filling this position, you will free up money for other pressing matters and stop the furtherance of the abuse of the ballot box. As I said, on HamptonBud.com you will find reference material that supports these statements. We took an oath. We swore allegiance to the Constitution and did so while invoking God. I can think of no more sacred promise than that. I recently discovered in our Constitution a quote, which I hope you will consider, that not resisting arbitrary power is absurd, slavish, and destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. These are not my words. These are the words of the Constitution you just swore to God and allegiance to. Please maintain fidelity to your oath. Do not fill this position and save money to boot. Strike a blow in favor of the Bill of Rights, which is where those words come from, the Bill of Rights of the New Hampshire Constitution in favor of the people and of democracy itself. Take this rare money-saving opportunity to stop arbitrary use of power and to demonstrate the people that we, that they, those who they elect and trust us, that we not only hold their public trust, but we treasure their Bill of Rights as well. Thank you. Thank you, sir.